Well, I'll be hanged. And George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Who's the grim fella? Woods That's Rogers. Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. Come forth, if you please. Hear about the king's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? <sighs> Lily livid punk! What are you men up to? I am great What's Hornigold up to? Captain Hornigold. I assumed our reception would see a troubled one. Don't mistake my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say, but of uncertain mind otherwise. Very well put. And it's a fairer shake than I expected to see from any pirate. But I promise fair treatment to all who hear me out. Only wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. These rascals will show their true colors in time. Calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigold my word that we will be equitable. Won't do you a look of good. Men like him are a blight on his majesty's reputation and a peculiar cancer afflicting the new world. The king wants them eradicated above all else. Is this the town square? As close to one as we've ever had. Incredible. It's no cleaner than a dog's kennel. Captain Hornigold, please call your men. I think that was with Rogers who saw me, yeah. The governor's come calling. Bring Burgess and Cochran as well. Uh... You're everywhere. All these damn rooftops. Disperse, a lot of you. Make way for the king's emissaries. Out of the way, you bastards. Go on. Our only aim here is to treat with the masters of this community. All others are encouraged to go about their usual business. Go on, move. Go. Commodore Chamberlain, we see that all merchants, masons, and carpenters are rounded up and brought to me this afternoon. We must see about repairing this fortress. We should be confiscating weapons, Governor. Send these pirates a clear, strong message that the King's emissaries are not to be trifled with. I have no wish to stir up animosity here, Commodore. And though well armed, we are outnumbered by a decent margin. Slow persuasion is our best and most efficient weapon. Twaddle, Governor! We should sink every goddamn ship not flying the King's colors. To do otherwise protects a certain weakness in our bearing. Silence, Commodore. I am the goddamn governor here, serving at the king's pleasure. Aye, sir. Your wishes are clear as crystal. Also, your thing is stupid. Like, seriously. You are aware, even if you do take away weapons, just sink every ship. They will find a way to go after you. Anything is a weapon. They could stab you with a, with a freaking... They could literally kill you with this rope over here. Like... I don't think they get that. Anything is a weapon. Then again, he's probably an idiot, so you know. These are the charts, Commodore. We're in position. Believes he can make men of these monkeys yet. I do not. Return to your post and await my orders. I think I might need to go around to get up there. You! Stop! I knew it. Alright. 
good thing about this is I know the way up there from here. I know how to get up there. I know how to go around the fort. So that is the best part about this. Only problem is... Now this place is covered with more soldiers than originally it would be. Which brings up a rather troublesome thing right here. Because I am not good at stealth. I wanted to kick you off of this, but whatever. Um, this way? Up here? Hey, sir, I need you to get over here with me. Oh! You can literally go and ring that bell, it's not gonna do anything. I really still got stealth, so there's really no point in actually trying to be stealthy at this. You guys really suck. Take such of the pirates who shall refuse or neglect to surrender them. I pray you take the prudent course, gentlemen. And accept the king's pardon as soon as your hearts allow. For until such time, all of you will be confined in the south. I am sorry for this. But in lieu of a public trial, this pardon is your best bet. The governor puts it far too brightly, maggots. Take this message home. Accept the king's protection forthwith. Or we will raise this town to its foundation and stretch your bloody necks. Peace, Commodore Chamberlain. We are messengers, not executioners. Not yet. I want to kill oh, that you, asshole. Sir. God save you. I'd rather keep Woods Rogers alive than fucking Commodore. Look on this as a stroke of fortune, lads. His voice annoys me. What dignity Too pays. much. I'll be hanged before I surrender to that bobby. Check your head, Vane. We had here a rare opportunity, a chance to take something base and shape it into a government made and maintained by men of vision. But in two years, we've pissed it away. I won't make that mistake again. It's truth is telling, and you whelps can't handle it. But you, you forecastle heady fuddlers. See you at the gallows. You'll all be dead, man! Bastards! I need a drink. Okay, then. <laughs> You'll be dead, man. I need a drink. Okay. I think this is Vane we're talking to? Where's Rackham, or whatever his name is? AKA the little pillage rat. You'll understand why I call him a rat as we get closer. Actually, next sequence you'll probably understand why. The gunpowder plot. I hate Look this it. one. Turn cop. Makes me bloody ill to think on how many times I've put up with horny gold and his self-righteous shite. Verily, you are a man of principle, Captain Horny Gold. A man I believe I can trust with my best ideas. Faith and we'll survive this, Charles, with our pride intact. Well, that's confidence. You brewed a plan I might get a taste of. Nassau is over, that's plain to see. I say we skip out tonight and regroup at my compound. Fair enough, what's your angle? The Brits have brought their supplies ashore, see? If we nick some gunpowder and pine pitch, we can build a fire ship and send it straight at the blockade, blasting it to smithereens. Aye. We'll use Rackham's ship. You're incapable, Captain. My conscience is clear. Right. When you get the gunpowder, I'll secure the pine pitch. What is pine pitch? 
I I'm gonna look that up because I I don't know. I am I am not gonna go around and show you all this. I think. You know, this isn't really gonna be much. There's only four. I really actually expected to be like, oh, collect over one thousand of these or collect thirty of them. But you know, it shouldn't be much, honestly. Uh, so much for having a home. So much time for all having all my and shit filled up. Whatever. Come on. Take the sword. I broke your back, but not in that way. I'm bored when I kill these people, okay? Don't question me saying a bunch of shit. I'm bored, and when I'm bored, I, I just say anything at that point. So these ones aren't really far from each other, and then that is... At the, you. Oh my fucking god. Stop. You see a man armed with a blowpipe. He's wearing a hood. He has two swords. He has four pistols. Need I say more? Why would you make your prince and say, hey, you, stop? You're welcome to him very slowly. Use your brain. If you have one there, that is. If you have one. Lucky for you guys, I have smoke bombs. I'm not looking for you though, because uh, it means you're gonna die from them. Oh wow, you got me, man. You got me. Ah, oh, you got me, man. You got me. Oh, you got me. You see that you're stabbing with this, with this bayonet. Kept thinking of it as a baton. I don't know why. I think I'm used to hitting people with blunt weapons more than anything in these games. So, by blunt weapons, I mean I'm used to hitting them with anything that isn't like, you know, a bayonet. Swords, but you get the point. I don't know where batons came from, though. Pretty sure batons weren't even around in this time period. Were they? I don't know. But this is the last one. And the next mission is, I don't know. Oh, I, I'm definitely not getting full synchronization. Okay, it's all the way over there. I'm just gonna fast travel to this place and then I can get there pretty fast. I can fast travel. Commodore 86. That sounds interesting. Come on, boys, you're lagging. That's this bloody hemp. Lieutenant. Shh. Aye, sir. The Commodore fears a revolt is nigh. His orders are to sink every goddamn pirate ship now anchored in that harbor tonight. It's by the governor's wishes, sir. This is a direct order, soldier. You will take position on the grounded galleon and await the Commodore's further orders. Is that clear? Aye, sir. The conniving bastard. Someone ought to slit the Commodore's throat before he gets a chance to bark those orders. You think so? We're dead in the water otherwise. All right, I'll kill him. Your brains are baked. I won't take no part in killing the Commodore. Not one of the King's men. But we can't risk our good fortune. I'll be waiting for you. The Commodore. Commodore. What even is that title? I like how they call it a stalking zone. Because <laughs> pretty much what you do when you're in those zones, you're just stalking everybody. Carry on. Lots of sour blood between them two, Rogers and Chamberlain. What's the issue? Commodore don't think much as a way inside of And there's a rumor going around that Rogers is some kind of Jacobite, or worse, that he's a Catholic. Oh, I could think of worse. Gather those two men there. The fuck? 
Did you say Galados two men, just random people? You never followed me. That was your mistake. Ay, ay, ay. There's so many fucking don't don't follow zones in here. I heard the Commodore ranting and raving about those Rogers, calling them a heathen and whatnot. What happened to set them to us? Bush, man. You don't want the governor's ire brought down on you. It's a mysterious sort. Well, I'm much more afraid of the Commodore in truth. He's a serious chap. No sense of humor. He's a buzzkill. That's what he is. A buzzkill. Pinocchio. All right, so how am I gonna do this now? Stand still. Yeah, get over here. I need to take out any of them who are gonna be a problem for me. You're gonna be a major problem if I don't. If I didn't take you out. How, what is the object optimal objective? Uh, air assassinate. Oh, I can do that easy. Assuming I can actually get on, I can get up there, though. So. That's assuming because I don't know if I'm gonna have trouble freaking climbing because he's gonna have trouble doing a lot of things in this game. I literally wasn't trying to do anything. I literally escaped you just by doing nothing pretty much. I literally just moved forward and that was nothing at all. Even Julian Ducasse had better eyesight than you lot. has given us a pardon, Commodore. Don't a man's word mean anything in these times? A syphilis clouded your mind. Why scratch and claw to protect such squalor? Your parasites feeding off the industry of honest men. Much like King George in that respect. Know your place, peasant! You may have taken my life, but you have not improved your own by any measure. Does some purpose keep you talking? If not for that heathen, Governor Rogers, I'd have seen you hanged from your own cross trees. Worm. All of you. It looks like you're the worm here. Or you're feeding the worms now. Hope the worms enjoy your maggot brain. Honestly, I wouldn't enjoy it. And in every game I can do it, I commit cannibalism. Now, how am I gonna get all the way over there? I'm not even gonna try- I'm not even gonna kill you, I don't even see the point in it, like... There's no point to me. So... It took a while to get here because I could not fast travel, and it wasn't letting me do it. 
And I had to go all the way to here from all the way over there. As you can imagine, it was pretty hard. Mostly because I kept getting attacked by a bunch of idiots. But we are at the mission and... Why the hell are you sent on the powder kegs in? Are... Are you trying to blow yourself up? You know, since Gom's kill himself, whatever. The fire ship, let's start. Commodore's dead, are we ready? We're close. We've got a problem with the galleon, there's a couple of dozen. Bloody hell. You'd raise a cloud here, louts. You shot on enough gunpowder to blow New Providence off its rocks. Stay off me, mate. I'm, I'm well chafed. As I was telling, a squad of lobsters has commandeered our galleon. We're gonna have to clear it out before we use them cannons to blow the brocade. Stay near the fire Thank ship, you. Captain. Keep it afloat. Close down! Man your the ship. Royal Phoenix. I like that. What's the assumption of objectives? Uh, use motors to sink ships, use barrels to sink a ship. Oh. I'm not a, not a motor. Uh, I'm not a barrel. I think that's a motor. Like, not a motor, man of war. What the game demands as well. Was that me? Get out of the way so I can do this. And it seems like that's a man of war over there, or it looks like one. I imagine I run into all kinds of shit this time around. Ooh! Damn! Yep, it's a man of war. That's a motor. That is a motor. Oh, it's not an enemy motor, though. And for synchronization, the chain. Stay near the fire ship, Captain. Keep it afloat. That's the plan. Stop freaking bickering about it before I throw you overboard. The I should use the cannons, but I did not feel like it. That is the that's the blockade. I'm pretty sure. Man of War's frigate, a frigate. Looks like they have the most powerful ones blocking the way out. I'm gonna guess Bane is gonna get sunk or something like that. Damn. Get clear of the fleet now and we're home free. Wait, where's Rackham? I mean Vane, where's Vane? I don't like Rackham. How much gunpowder do we have in that? Oh fuck. Why are you going out of travel speed? That's like the fastest way to get out of safety. Doing it to Zorianton, but I don't care. Piss off! These motors are really bad. Fun. Um. A mighty mess there. <laughs> Burn your bastards! Yeah! The burning of your ass, Gubbler! Oh, Charlie 
prancing about like they took a prize. Use motors. Ah, the fire ship. That was such a short and easy mission. God damn it, I'm gonna do no one else hacking things now. Oh, hi, kid. You missed quite a time. Aye. Pity about NASA and Blackbeard flying the coop. Well, we'll see about Thatch. Vane's off to see him now, and I'm following soon. This is what's left of your experiment in democracy. Aye. We do as we please here, and we take our time doing it. But for Christ's sake, Edward. Don't anything but the stink of riches wrinkle your nose. What's got into you, man? Reality, mate. Reality. See that you ain't pulled into the drink by this drowning rat. Oi! I've lived longer than most men who trod this path. Looks, it seems it looks a bit too late to be drinking. Okay, next mission. <laughs> a next video, we're gonna do the next mission, which is where is that actually? Um, I don't. I can't see what it's called. It's not telling me what it's called. Well, whatever, it's some, I'm pretty sure this mission is, I, I don't know what these missions are called, it doesn't tell me what they are. But, uh, next video we're gonna do that mission, I hope you enjoyed the video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, man, goodbye.